Good morning. I'm Tanya Lyon and this is your OC Metro Minute for Thursday, May 3rd, 2012. In today's Orange County Business News headlines, another disappointing report for the economy. Payroll processing giant ADP released their April jobs report on Wednesday and among the most notable findings, private employers added just 119,000 jobs in April, a number significantly lower than the 162,000 that economists had predicted. According to the ADP report, jobs in the goods producing sector fell by 4,000, while manufacturing and construction jobs also fell by 5,000 jobs nationwide. But Joel Prakin, a chairman for the Macroeconomic Advisors, the company which pre prepared the ADP report, says it's not all bad news. In an interview with the Orange County Register, Prakin said, quote, the stock market has rebounded, vehicle sales are up, gas and oil prices have dropped, which increases disposable income, and the Fed's quarterly report on banks' willingness to lend to consumers almost doubled. It would be foolhardy to look at today's ADP numbers and say that there has been a fundamental downshift in the economy, end quote. Now from one bad report to another, could California be the worst state for business? One magazine seems to be indicating that's the case. For the eighth year in a row, Chief Executive Magazine ranked the Golden State as the worst place to conduct business. The magazine surveyed 650 business leaders who graded each state based on factors like taxes, living environment, and more, and the results speak for themselves. The survey noted California's 10.9% unemployment rate, as well as the fact that it's a third of U.S. welfare recipients live here in the state. Critics told the LA Times that high state taxes and bundles of red tape made operating a business in the state unaffordable. But survey respondents did say California had one saving grace, the weather. And finally, it has not been a heavenly start for the season for the Angels. Attendance has been slow, multi-million dollar man Albert Pujols has yet to hit a homer this year, and their record has been in the tank. But last night, local hero Jared Weaver provided a spark. Weaver became the ninth pitcher in franchise history to throw a no-hitter in a 9-0 win over the Minnesota Twins. Weaver's first career no-hitter was also the first time an Angels pitcher has thrown such a game at home in 23 years. Every business needs a spark. Could this be it for the Angels? It's a long season, so we'll have to wait and see. Check out the new May issue of OC Metro featuring the release of our 40 Under 40 at more than 1,400 newsstands throughout Orange County. This year's special edition features Dan Natsika, a public affairs specialist with the Santa Ana-based Discovery Science Center on the cover. Read about Dan and 39 other aspiring professionals and business owners all under the tender age of 40. I'm Tanya Lyon and that was your OC Metro Minute. Check back with ocmetro.com throughout the day for the latest business news headlines. Thanks for watching and have a great day.